Yeah, I came uh, to Romania for the first time and I didn't have any idea uh, how it would be. I was invited to Romania and first I didn't know if I could come because I have many invitations from different parts of the world. Then somehow I decided yeah, that we should do it. Somehow I didn't have any big expectations. I uh, know that uh, some people from Romania, one or two men, they had been visiting the ashram of my guru in the 1970s and 1980s. Then when I came to the center, when I saw the yoga hall, I thought uh, it will be a good seminar, even if it was only 10 people, because uh, the yoga hall is quite nice. It's uh, like a cave, a little bit uh, dark, but not too dark. It's uh, very calm inside and uh, big and nice. And so I thought it uh, no matter how many people will come, we will have a good seminar here. And uh, so far, now it's second day and I think it, most people like it. And I, me too, I think the energy is good. So, uh, this is all I need. Pentru mine, Reinhardt este, aș spune, o legendă vie, datorită liniugiului de pe care vine. Știam de Mahar și Kartikeya încă de când practicam de la început Hatha Yoga, Mahar și Kartikeya fiind unul dintre guru și lui, și apoi Direnda Brahmachari, practic foarte multe elemente din tradiția și din yoga pe care Direndra Brahmacharii le predă sau le-a predat mai bine spus fac parte și din practica mea. M-am bucurat foarte mult de inițiativa care a fost luată de a-l aduce pe Reinhard la noi. I thought that Direndra Brahmacharii in Romania must be quite well known like in Russia. In Russia he, my guru is quite famous because he was uh, coming to Russia with Indira Gandhi and it was Russian winter, it was very cold, minus 30 degrees in St. Petersburg and he was naked or yeah, just wearing the dhoti with barefoot and uh, it was uh, quite heavy for the Russians of course to see a man walking in this cold without feeling cold and so uh, Direndra Pakmachari he became famous. Yeah, I was very lucky that I met a real yogi in India. His name was Direndra Brahmachari. He was, uh, he became my guru and I became quite ardent, uh, you say ardent, uh, yeah, like a very strong uh, practitioner of Hatha Yoga in about 1979. I changed my life. I wanted to become a real yogi like Direndra Bahmachari. And so in the following years, uh, this uh, man started to teach me uh, about the original Hatha Yoga from the Himalayas. And uh, yeah, I, I started to learn, I started to understand that this is quite a powerful practice that these yogis, yogis do. I, even as a young man, I always wanted to become free. Freedom was very important. And when, when I was becoming a young adult with maybe 15 years, I was looking for freedom by doing many things which were not so good for my health. Started to use uh, to smoke drugs and uh, enjoy wild life and thought this is freedom to enjoy life and to roam around the world without uh, belonging to this society where people always work and are like slaves. And then I realized suddenly when I was 25 that uh, the wild life without discipline does not make you free somehow you start to have problems, physical problems, mental problems. And only when I started to do 
yoga practice, I suddenly understood that there is another freedom which uh, is possible to reach. The yogis, they call it samadhi. This is uh, like a liberation from dualities when a human being can come out of these uh, two opposites, hot and cold or bad and good and all kind of dualities that exist in our material world. And so, of course, it was my dream to reach uh, also such a level as a yoga, yogi. And this is what I am doing now. I am trying and learning more and more. Today I am a teacher. I am teaching around the world, but I am at the same time also a student. I learn in every seminar also more about this energy that we use to practice. And I believe that it is possible to reach a state where you are somehow completely free. No more death, no more life, finish uh, the, the end of these dualities. And yeah, it's my dream to get as far as that. But uh, my guru, he always taught me, I, if you want to reach to the high levels, you have to go slowly, step by step. And not trying to jump too much or to make haste to run towards such goals because uh, you cannot reach them with pushing too much. You have to use your patience, you have to be devoted and you just have to continue uh, to walk. My aim somehow is to show the people that the original yoga, which is... Uh, called Hatha Yoga, with the word Hatha, it means the yoga of power. It's about power. You are starting to use a power inside of you with powerful practice and uh, that people should uh, remember the old yoga. At least some people, they should try to find the, really, the real old yoga, the pure yoga, which is different in many aspects of the modern yoga uh, and they should, uh, if they want uh, to discover themselves, if they are looking for self-realization, they cannot find anything better than Hatha Yoga, I believe. The first professor of yoga came from the traditional yoga, so that a regăsit anumite elemente din practicile tradiționale uh, din India. The first reward that I got from the practice was that I became more healthy. My health came back quite quickly, yes, yeah, like a basic health. And uh, I started to become more calm. Nervous uh, ner nervosity disappeared and mental slavery as I would call it, like the thinking and thinking process which uh, is going on in most people in a very negative way. You have fears, you have all these problems and worries and such things. This started to fade away. Hatha Yoga is meant for individual people who dream of escaping from this uh, prison of reality, you can say, from the prison that we live in, in the form of karma, of daily life routine and many other things. I uh, believe that the reward of the yoga is that you start to discover that freedom is possible to reach. There might be a possibility to reach freedom. The reward in the beginning is that you start to lose your fears. If I think most people who start with yoga practice, they do it because they are not happy. Maybe they are not healthy. They feel that something is not working properly in their life or in their organism. Also from yoga practice that you start to respect yourself. 
you start to respect your body and you start to treat yourself in a way that is respectable, somehow according to the laws which you should uh, obey. And uh, by doing this, I think also the outside world will start to accept you as you are, respect you for what you are. Yeah, this is uh, what yoga wants. It wants you to become confident. Yeah, calm, confident. You have the confidence that uh, God, the divine power, will help you to manage materially. You get the food that you need. You get money that you need. You have a you get a place to live and so on. Very high level, like my guru, they are completely without fear. For them, fear, the word fear is, doesn't even exist anymore. They would not be afraid of tigers or of armies coming against them. They would just uh, be relaxed and give themselves to God somehow. And uh, if God wants to protect them, they will be protected. If God would want to destroy them, they would be destroyed, but they would not be afraid even of destruction. I do it for quite a long time. It's now about 37 years since I have started. And uh, yeah, because of more experience, I also am aware of some dangers which are inside the practice. And I, yeah, I had a very good teacher who was showing me some uh, ways and means to use a powerful practice uh, in a way to practice with people who are still beginners, to show them uh, how strong this yoga is, how powerful the energy can work inside of you. Uh, how strong and deep the feeling can become when you do uh, this practice and uh, I try to do it in a way that nobody gets harmed of course that people can practice with me even the beginners or the advan advanced people they will experience something which is good for them I think this is the role of a teacher to to be also an example uh, how lifestyle of a yogi should be. A good teacher, I think, is one who has been walking on this road quite far. Uh, like uh, in the mountains, you need a scout who is guiding you, a guide who is guiding you up to the Everest. Uh, you cannot go by yourself in the beginning. and. The guide, of course, quite important. He will tell you where to be careful. He will know some dangers of these uh, high mountains. It's exactly, exactly the same in Hatha Yoga. Of all the practice that we have uh, in, in our world, just like it is written in the Yoga Shastra, there is a writing, it says, uh, Nasti Yogat Parambalam. This means there is no power which is stronger than yoga. And in uh, the yoga Upanishads, which are 20 Upanishads about Tata Yoga, the Shiva, he says that uh, if somebody wants to find uh, the best way to reach the highest level that the human being can reach, the fastest and strongest way, then he should choose the, he calls it the Siddhi Margena. Siddhi Margena means the pathway of a supernatural realization. This is another name for Hatha Yoga. A fost și este în continuare că seminarul nu s-a terminat. Foarte interesant, am regăsit elemente pe care nu le știam în practica Kundalini care au adus un plus de valoare în practica mea personală și aș putea să spun că m-ar bucura foarte mult dacă Reinhard chiar ar mai fi invitat aici. Yeah, this is all I have to say. I think uh, yeah, it's my wish to become a yogi still every day and uh, I promise myself I will not give up until I die to reach uh, Samadhi. If I cannot reach it, then I hope it will continue in the next life.
but uh, hopefully I can use all the experience of this life uh, and do it in this life because death is always like uh, clearing the hard disk from memories and to recollect the memories in the next life is not so easy. So uh, Hatha Yoga, it says that it is possible to do this uh, long pathway of uh, realizing yourself, of transforming into a higher uh, being, a spiritual being, even in one lifetime. So I hope that it's possible and this is what I do. I do yoga myself, I practice myself, I teach to others, I practice with the others and try to follow my, uh, my rules and uh, the rest is up to God.